Hey bosses, it's Nina, and I wanted to show you exactly how you can actually create your own IGTV video and actually convert your YouTube videos over to IGTV videos. I'm sure you know that most YouTube videos are landscape, and I've been getting the question over and over again, how do I actually convert those to IGTV um, videos or Instagram videos and so I'm gonna show you how to you how to do this using Camtasia but if you head over to my notes and also just click the link to head over to my blog I'll actually write out these steps because I don't want you to think that you can only do this with Camtasia there's other apps you can do it with I just want to show you kind of the strategy or the steps behind it so let's go before we get started, just a couple of things. I'm doing new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My first two series are below, so you can click the link in the description box. And even if you wanna work with me or reach out to me on other platforms, all that information is below. This week, we're talking all about YouTube tips and tricks for digital marketers. So let's go. Okay, so I actually have Camtasia open. One of the things to keep in mind is the first thing that you're going to need to do is if you have an existing video, you'll probably want to either open that project or just open that video. I'm going to go ahead and do that now by going to file and open. And actually I clicked on open project. And now I'm going to click on the Tailwind Instagram hashtag finder project that I actually started. And um, I already released this video. Again, that's my series two below. So you can take a look at that. But basically my goal here is I've noticed that Camtasia tends to freeze if I don't do this step. So if your application doesn't do this, no worries. I basically take my normal video, which I export. So this is a complete video. And usually you export your video into a local file. And I choose as soon as it comes up. Okay, I usually choose M400 only up to 1080p, right? Which is perfect for YouTube. But in this case, I need to make the video smaller. So I go down to 720 and I just export it just like it is. So I'm just gonna go to export. And this is fine, I use bookmarks. So it's just telling me that um, I have bookmarks there. And so this case, I'm gonna save in the same folder and I'm just gonna say, IG for now. Okay, so this is gonna convert it. It will take a lot less time since it's smaller and I'll come back after the video is converted. So in other words, all I'm doing is saving it as a smaller version of this original video. Okay, so now that I'm, oops, hey bosses. That's okay. hey there you go. Hey. So it's popping up. I have mine set up to open after it's completed. So after it completes, you basically see this and you get a pop up with a copy of the video. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this for now. I don't need it. So I'll do file new project, no changes to save. Now here's where you set the dimensions or the settings, the project settings. This is where I was saying, if you have an application that you can change the canvas dimensions, as long as you can choose custom dimensions, you can do this. And so, if you look, normally I do 1280 by 720. I literally just switched that around. Now I notice that there are some edges that you may not be able to see well. So I'll play around with these and I'll, um, when I figure out the final settings that are just absolutely perfect, um, I'll go ahead and put them below. But for now, I, this worked well for me. It wasn't that off. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this. This actually locks it. So if, let me actually show you what that means. So if I do, if I type in 100, oh, it's unlocked now. So if I type in 300, then this second one usually automatically changes to kind of keep the ratio. I just uncheck that and I just switch it. So I do 720 by 1280 instead of 1280 by 720. You can also set the background color. So if you like, you can do your color that you usually use. In my instance, I don't want it to be too bright on people's screen, so either pick a gray or a white. There you go. Okay, so now this is the background, we've set it, and so here comes the fun part. I am going to import the other um, video. Now this is the part where I was saying if I didn't change this to 720p and export it, 
as a smaller video, I was having a lot of issues here and it would freeze up. Again, I'm not sure if that happens to everyone or just me, but this is my workaround for it. So I'll go ahead and add new media. So I'm going to import media. Okay, I have my media here and this is my video. Notice it's still in my landscape mode. So at this point, I would just add additional items at the top and the bottom. So you may add something like the thumbnail that you created, a call to action, or even some instructions. So if you want to be very detailed, you can continue to edit and add items as you're actually um, going through the video. I'm going to do something just super duper simple. So I'm going to add media and I'm going to import my thumbnail for this video. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it over here this time. And basically what I'll do is I'll just put this at the top, put my video right under, and I'm just going to add some text here and say, Change the settings really quick. I'm going to change this to white. I'm actually going to try something. I'm not going to make it too um, obvious, but I'm going to make the information around it a little bit blurrier. So as we're watching this, okay. Okay. there we go. So that way everything in the background to me isn't kind of over, not background, but all of the additional elements are not overpowering the actual video. So now I'm just going to take all of my elements that I put on top of the video here and I'm just holding down my mouse and I'm just going to drag it all the way over so the entire video is the exact same. Now again, this is where at each different point you might want to add another video or show up, show additional steps or whatever you'd like to do. Um, I'm just getting started and I want to see if this is actually worth doing. And so before I put all that effort into doing all of those things and editing yet another video, I'm just going to kind of convert it and add some details here. And then I'll just go ahead and export it like I no normally do to a local file. I'm going to keep it at 720. And then I'm going to put it back in here. So let me just make sure this one's the full one. So I just want to save it to the right place. All right, so I'm saving it with the exact same name. I'm just putting IG in front of it. And I'll let that finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this finish. And I have a separate video on how to upload um, videos from your desktop to IGTV. I'll go ahead and put that in the link below as well as somewhere in the information box at the top. My question of the day for you is, what is your favorite video editing software, either from your phone, from your desktop, from your Mac computer? Go ahead and put the details in the comments. Let me know what is your favorite video editing software and actually tell me why. Is it super easy or is it just that it's um, inexpensive or it's just the best out there? Let me know below and stay tuned for my next few videos on YouTube. The links will be around the screen. Ciao.